I grew up on this street, one of five kids in a single parent family on welfare. I found it tough, but living in poverty isn't just about money, it's more psychological. It's the fear of what other people think of you, the feeling that you're not even entitled to things that they take for granted. But I was lucky, my mum always managed to take us on holiday and it felt like coming up for air. There are different levels of poverty the world over, but it always means that you're marginalised in your community. Over the past few months, I've got to know the Hope family. Ironically, although they live under a busy flight path, they'd never had a holiday at all until last year. As you can see, my room's a mess, so just ignore that. Stepdad Dave always worked, but for years he was on minimum wage, and then a few months ago he lost his job. Kids just think we've got the money to hand out to them. And when you tell them you haven't, and when they say, oh, but you've got the money for this and you've got the money for that, yeah, that's stuff that we need, like food and shopping. And it's so hard to save when you're on the dole. But now a charity stepped in to offer the family a subsidised holiday. What are you looking forward to this week, Dean? All of it, everything. Different scenery. Meeting new friends. Like, get to know my family a bit better. You're going to break it. Should be good fun. It angers and upsets me when people look down on you for being poor. We're going to a place where that doesn't happen. Primhurst House is just half an hour's drive from the Hope's home. Hello. Hello. It's almost unique in using holidays as a chance to help the families take more control of their lives. Back in the same room as we were here before. That's quite good. Many of the parents who come here hardly had childhoods themselves. One of the special things for these families is that they come very often from similar experiences of life. They can understand each other, they can feel, each can feel each other's suffering, you know, and then to share that, to heal them. It's, it's a way of healing each other, you know. When I was a kid, if I admitted to being poor, I'd get bullied. But when you're among people just like you, it's safe to be yourself. It's quite exciting, actually. It's something that we've, we've managed to do all together and all had a go. I'm making a pyramid. I came from a family that had no money. Uh, we lived on a council estate. We moved 11 times in 10 years. It's made me stronger. It's made me more outgoing. But it's also made me realise that when people were being prejudiced against me, you know, it's not me that's the problem, it's them. They've got the issue. I love this place. We want people not to need us anymore. We want the poor, little by little, to gain confidence, to gain power, to gain strength, and stand up, support themselves, and support others who are less fortunate than them. Having holidays gives hope for the future, definitely. 
When the families go back home, they are different. They are different. This holiday has been really familiar to me from my childhood. But seeing it through the eyes of an adult for the first time has shown me just how constructive it can be.